I've done it again. I've rearranged my entire scrapbook room. Well, I didn't rearrange it actually. I changed rooms. So, we're gonna. This is my Cricut Imagine with my Cricut Mini and my Cricut Books. They mostly hold my Imagine cartridges. And this one, we have the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I have my buttons my and my flowers. And then this one, they're my boxes for my Cricut cartridges. Up on the top, in the red bucket, is my extra bling. I have my gypsy bag, and those are shadow boxes, along with things I want to do. That is a box of baby stickers, vellum, rub-ons. This is a box of CDs. I keep my albums over here, along with empty containers and containers I use for car classes. I keep my 8.5 by 11 inch albums here, and my Glimmer Mist box. This is just a, a shelf of whatever, like my pictures are there, I have pictures here. This is a box, tub of chipboard and tea lights, but it's projects to make. I have another box of that. And then this is where my flowers are kept. So I have flowers in these. This is a drawer of just my post-it notes. I have more beads to do more scrapbooking skittles if I need them. In this drawer, I keep my Stampin' Up! ink pads along with my chip, my Imagine cord. Down here in this shelf are my paper pads. And then I have, this is my 8.5 by 11 inch paper, but I even have the small paper pads and this is my containers that I can alter. This is basically just paperwork stuff. I do have some stickers that I plan on using in there. This shelf is for my solid paper and my Halloween paper which is down at the bottom. This is my entire stamp collection that is in CD cases or stamping up cases. On to my, my tables are from Ikea. There's actually three tables here. I have two of the corner ones and one straight one. So on my table I have my paper trimmer, which is Fiskars, it's just the pink one. This is my box of cards that I use to, that I saw on Etsy. I have a carousel for my pens. I keep my Copics, they're hung on an Ikea rail in little baskets from Ikea. Then the bling that I use is down here. I have my twine here. These boxes are from Michaels and then they hold the washi tape. Then I use these containers here to hold my ink pads. I have my stickles and my alcohol inks here. This is a container of just extras. I have lots of extras and my scrubby pad. These are extra stickles that I have like the big containers and the paints. Then I use punches to hold all of my, or all of my punches are held on IKEA rails. There is my cameo and my Cricut, my Xyron, and my ribbon holder. Underneath my tables, this one is filled with eight and a half by eleven inch paper. This one is my what holds my heat gun and then packaging. This one is all of my Cricut stuff. And then in this, these here are extra ribbons. So we go over here. This holds my stamps. I have my paper smooches, my jaded blossom. I have some sweet stamps, some avocado, some lawn fawn, stamps of life, alleyway, paper smooches again. It holds my little ones too, and then my ink. This here holds my adhesives, and on the bottom holds my tool. I got this card at IKEA as well. On this side, in this, we have my embossing powders. Embossing powders. I even have the scents ones. And then I have my glitters, flocks, and chalks. We have more punches here and more hung on the wall. The small ones 
I believe were $1.99 and this long one that I have was $2.99 but I have my my big bite one of those big staplers and then under here we have my cuddle bug and cuddle bug supplies along with cards and envelopes my cinch stuff I use this paper trimmer for chipboard only and then in these drawers I have my wooden mount stamps on the top of this I use it for my paper scraps and then in the drawers I have my new stamps that I have not used pictures and the second drawer is everyday things rubber bands hot glue glue crayons and the bottom one is my eye rock my eye top the buttons and stuff that I use for it and then we this is my last paper rack I actually got this at a garage sale for $30 I sort my paper by names and that is my scrapbook room thank you